there was a little monk named Telemachus. He lived in the 5th century in Asia. And he kept having this prompting from the Holy Spirit. Go to Rome. Go to Rome. As he was tending to his vegetable garden, go to Rome. Go to Rome. And finally, he, he felt like you'd be disobedient to the prompting of the Holy Spirit if he didn't go to Rome. And so, so he, he packed his things and he, he, he went to Rome. And he got there and it was in the middle of the Roman circuses and the free bread being distributed to people. And there were, they, the people were streaming over to the Roman Colosseum where there would be gladiator fights, where gladiators would be committed to fight to the death for the entertainment of the people. And he'd never even heard of gladiator fights, much less seen one, but, but he thought if he's going to obey the prompting of the Holy Spirit that he would go with the flow of the people and find out where they were going. And he ended up in the Colosseum, high up on the top. And as he saw this spectacle unfold, he stood up and he said, in the name of Christ, stop. And people, just a few people heard him and they, and they laughed and they ridiculed him. And since he, he didn't get a response, he, he, he worked his way down to the floor of the Colosseum and he was able to, 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 to end up on the floor of the Colosseum. And his two gladiators were coming at each other. He, he ran between them and he said, in the name of Christ, stop. And they jeered, and, and, and the, the crowd was, was, was taunting and, and uh, the, the, the gladiators to go ahead and, 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 uh, and run him through. And so they were pushing him around with his shield and making fun of him. And he said, in the name of Christ, stop. And one of the gladiators took his sword and split him open like a melon right in front of all the people. This man of God, this nobody from nowhere. And a few people up in the top of the Colosseum got up and began to, to leave. And then a few more, and then a few more. And the Colosseum emptied that day. And that was the last time that a gladiator fight was ever conducted in the Roman Colosseum. Because one man answered the call. Because one, nobody from nowhere, was willing to answer the call. He didn't know what the outcome would be of his going to Rome. He just knew that he had to be faithful to do it. You don't know what the outcome will be from whatever God has you do. The only thing we know is that we, we, we are called to be faithful. That's the big idea today. God calls us to be faithful not to produce a particular outcome. 